so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hello! Hey! It's me, Blippi! Yeah, today we're at Boulder Bend Glassworks in Leavenworth, Washington. Whoa! And look at all these! Wow! These are glass sculptures. Whoa, they're very delicate. Wow, so I'm going to be nice and gentle. Whoa, check that out. Yeah, you can put all sorts of things right here. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, look how brightly colored this is. Whoa, I am so curious how they made this here. Yeah, all of these are handmade here. Yeah, handmade. These aren't made with machines or anything like that. Every single one of these is turned or blown. Yeah, they're made by two people right here. <laughs> okay, here we go. Come on. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Look at this. Looks like a blue and white plate. <laughs> I could put tons of food on here and eat it all up. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> or you can use it for decoration. Wow, this is so cool. Wow, look at this. <laughs> Blue and orange, my two favorite colors. Wow, glass is so cool because look at how hard it is. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> but when you heat it up really hot, yeah, it kind of turns into like a liquid, kind of like honey. <laughs> I love honey. <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. Wow, there's so many cool machines in here and tools. Hey, come check it out. Whoa, look at all these. <laughs> they kind of look like scissors, <laughs> but they're used for the glass. Yeah. We'll look into these a little bit later. <laughs> but for now, come check this out. Wow, look at all these colors. These are actually big pieces of glass. Wow, what color is this? Yeah, it's bright red. Do you hear them? Listen. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we got some red some orange, some yellow, some green, some turquoise right in here, and teal, and we got some blue, and looks like we have some purple. Can't forget about white. <laughs> that is so cool. I am so excited to see what we make with glass today. Wow, look at all these glass rods. Whoa, so cool. <laughs> they have colors on the inside. Whoa, okay. <laughs> okay, let's see what they have here. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this is a nice bed. This is where you roll a metal rod and the glass is on the end. We have a nice little, uh, looks like a little metal paddle. <laughs> you can flatten out the glass. Ooh, some big tweezers. We have some diamond shears. Each one of these tools has a different use for the glass. Oh, look way down here. A big paddle. Whoa, and it looks like some glass actually made it turn black a little bit burnt over time. That is so cool. Okay, there we go. Hey, and this is a fluffy. Yeah, kind of like a torch. Yeah, it has some nice flame coming out. Whoa. Oh, hey, look. They're kind of like bowls. Whoa, so cool. <laughs> I bet you put the glass in there. Okay, let's go explore. Whoa, look at this. Yeah, this is an oven. This is where you put in the glass and then it heats it up. Yeah, it's really hot in there, so I'm definitely not going to touch that. <laughs> Nice and warm though. Whoa, look at all these little pieces of glass. 
Wow, they're so colorful. Whoa, yellow, blue, orange and yellow, purple. Oh, and you can't forget about my two favorite colors, blue and orange. <laughs> that is so cool. Whoa, look at this station. This looks like the safety station. You know me, I love safety. Check it out. <laughs> Look at these big mittens. <laughs> so then you can hold a nice hot glass and then it won't burn you. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. All right. Whoa. And down here. Whoa. Looks like we have a helmet. <laughs> How do I look? <laughs> do I look silly? <laughs> wow, I love protective gear. Yeah, keeps you nice and safe. Oh, another oven. This is where you put the finished glass to cool down nice and slow. Whoa, and another oven. But this oven is really, really hot. This is where all the clear glass is. Yeah, and it is basically like liquid in there. Oh, whoa, check it out. This is a torch, another hot area that I am definitely not gonna touch. Wow, <laughs> there's so many cool things around here, but you have to be very, very careful. Hey, look, yeah, look at these pipes. Some of the pipes have holes in them. Do you see that? Yeah, that's where the glass blower blows into this pipe. And on the other end, that's where the glass is. And then the air expands it, kind of like when you blow a bubble. With bubble gum. <laughs> yeah, this is a section of pipes. Check it out. These are used and they are very cold. And that's why I am able to handle these. Yeah, <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> yeah! Whoa! <laughs> so cool! Whoa! What are they doing? Whoa! Hey, who are you two? I'm Craig. I'm Doris. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Blippi. What are you doing? We are blowing glass. We're making hearts. We like to make hearts a lot. Whoa! They're blowing glass and making hearts. Do you mind showing us a little bit more? We would love to show you. Awesome! <laughs> Kinda look like tweezers. Do you see what she's making? Yeah, it's a heart. Yeah, a symbol of love.
Why are you two putting it in there? We put it in here so that it cools slowly. If it cools too fast, it'll crack. So it stays in here all day long at 920 degrees and that it cools down over a two day period after that. Wow, that's so cool. I'm so excited for it to cool down so we can see this part. <laughs> Did you see that? That was so cool how they made that part. <laughs> now I get to make a heart. But the first thing I need to do is wear my safety glasses. Yeah! Whoa! How do I look? Woo! <laughs> yeah! Now I'm ready. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Whoa! First, I need to roll it! Yeah! Oh, that's really fun! Alright! There we go! <laughs> this is so much fun! Whoa! Alright, now we're heating it up. I chose. Blue and orange, my two favorite colors. <laughs> yeah. What are your favorite colors or color? Wow, what a great color. <laughs> you see how I'm spinning it? Yeah. It's because gravity pulls the glass down. Yeah. Whoa, Whoa. it is very hot. Now roll it. Whoa. Just like that. Keep rolling. Whoa. Oh. Just like that. Keep rolling. Oh. Okay. Just keep going. And then now you can and then you can stop. Okay. You can let it cool now. Okay. We have to it was moving a lot, right? Yeah. Let it cool down so that when we cover it with more hot glass that it doesn't lose control and drip off into the tank of glass. Oh, okay. Now it's cooling down a little bit. Wow. That was very good. Thank you. Hey. Whoa. This is fun. <laughs> wow. It's so cool how glass is really hard when it's cold. But when you heat it up to really hot temperatures, yeah, it turns into a honey-like consistency. <laughs> I love it. But I definitely do not want to eat this glass or honey because that would burn us. Wow. Whoa, do you see what she's doing? She's using that spoon looking device to roll it in and look at how smooth and circular it looks. Wow. <laughs> Little more heat, here we go. Whoa. Okay, it's ready. Whoa. Whoa. All right. The first thing we have to do is tap it. But I need to keep rolling it. Here we go. Is it ready? All right. <laughs> Whoa. Look at that. <laughs> I'll do a little bit more shaping. Can you tell that it's a heart? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to give it a little bit more heat. And then we'll do the last bit of shaping. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do the last bit of shaping. And then from there, whoa. Okay, how's that? That looks really good. And then let's give this point just a little bit more of a tug. Perfect. And then, how about right there? Wow. Get a little bit more of a crease. I'll try and center it out. <laughs> Not really. Well, that's okay. <laughs> Perfect. All right. How does that look? That looks very good. Okay. Well yep. Great. Whoa. Wow. That was so much fun. Now they're going to do the finishing touches and then they're going to pull it off 
of the metal rod. Now we're keeping that back truck point because we just broke the glass, right? So we're heating it up, working that in, and then we're going to put a stamp on it. at Boulder Bend Glassworks with you today, huh? Did you have fun? Yeah! Hey, let's check out what we made! Yeah, they made this really cool pendant. Whoa! Yeah, remember how they blew it and made it big and it expanded? Whoa! Look at that! Whoa! That is so pretty! <laughs> and then they made this bluish and whitish bowl. Wow, you could put so many goodies in there. Whoa, they do such great work. Wow, and then they made a heart. Yeah, they used yellow and orange. Whoa, yeah, yep, <laughs> that is so cool. And then I got to make a heart. Yeah, do you remember my two colors that I used? Yeah, blue and orange. Whoa, <laughs> here it is. Wow, we did such a good job making this heart. Whoa, <laughs> that was so cool. It is so cool that when these cooled down, yeah, they became really hard. Yeah, and then when they were really hot, yeah, it was like a liquid. Whoa! Yeah, kind of like honey, <laughs> but not honey. It's glass. <laughs> All right. Well, I should probably get going now. <laughs> but this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B L I P P I. Flippy, good job. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>
Whoa. Mm. <sighs> Look at this fruit. <laughs> this fruit is really big <clears throat> and heavy. <laughs> this is a watermelon. Whoa. And the watermelons are really big and tasty. <laughs> yeah, they're the color green, but kind of like a kiwi. If you open them up, they're red inside. And they have lots of little teeny tiny black seeds that'll grow up to be other watermelons. <laughs> Whoa! That was so cool. We learned about all these different colors and fruits. <laughs> and we learned about orange juice comes from oranges. Whoa. <laughs> hey. But now that we know where orange juice comes from, where do oranges come from? Hmm, maybe they grow up really tall in a tree. Hmm. Or maybe they're down in the ground? Hmm, I'm not sure, but I know a great place that you and I can go. We can find out all we need to know about oranges. <laughs> hey, will you go with me? <laughs> yeah, come on, let's go. It's me, Flippy, and today we're here at Showcase of Citrus in Claremont, Florida. <laughs> yeah! And today we get to learn all about oranges. Growing oranges, picking oranges, juicing oranges. <laughs> yeah! I'm super excited and hungry because oranges are really tasty. Not only that, but it's my favorite color. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. Come on! <laughs> hey! I'm so excited to learn all about oranges. But first, you and I get to go on a really exciting adventure ride on these big monster trucks. <laughs> yeah! Hey, let's get a closer look. Come on! Whoa! Look at it! These wheels and tires are massive! They're even taller than me! <laughs> Whoa! I just love monster trucks. Whoa! And look inside this wheel! It's really big! It echoes! Oh, hello. hello! Whoa, I am so excited to get in one of the monster trucks. And hey, look, it's the driver. Uh, hello, what's your name? Hi, my name's Amy. Hi, Amy. <gasps> I think Amy's gonna take us on a monster truck ride. This is gonna be great. Come on. And hey, look, it's Amy. Hi, Amy. Hi, come on on. Let's go. We're riding on a real life monster truck. Yeah. Let's sit down and get ready to start. All right, let's go. Okay, we're gonna go. Yeah. That's a really loud engine. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. So Amy, I really like oranges. Will we be able to pick some oranges to eat later? We will. Ooh. Can we just pick any oranges we want? So we only have a certain amount of oranges that are available to pick. Some Ooh. of them aren't ready yet, Ooh. but we do have lots of them. Well, how do you tell if an orange is ready or not? So how you tell is usually by the color. Um, sometimes though, it's usually more of when you feel it. Make mm. sure at least it's a little bit soft. Ooh, we like oranges that are nice and soft and juicy. We don't want an unripe orange. Blah. No. Are those normally green oranges? They actually are. A lot of people don't know that. Um, so actually, you know during um, fall how the leaves mm -hmm. start to change? Mm -hmm. That's the same thing with oranges. They start off green and once it gets cool, um, they start to turn that nice yellow orange color. Um, and that is when you know they're ready to pick. Whoa, that's so cool. I didn't know that before, but you have leaves in fall that are green and then they turn my favorite color orange. <laughs> yeah. And Amy's telling me that it's the same thing with oranges. They're green and not very good to eat. And then they get nice and sweet and tasty as orange oranges. <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> hey, that was so much fun riding the monster truck with you. Well, I'm really excited because Amy's gonna help us pick some oranges in the orange grove. Yeah, come on, let's go pick some tasty oranges. <laughs> All right, so to start, you're gonna need your bag. Oh, we got our bag. You're also gonna need your picker. This is to help to get the oranges that are way high on top of the tree. Okay, and next we'll use the picker. Okay, so we need to pick some oranges, but 
Do you remember what color we needed to pick the orange at? Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yellowish orange. See this one right here? Yeah, this orange is the color green. And it's a little firm, so it's not quite ripe yet. We want to find one. Hmm. I don't see any on this tree. Hmm. Let's keep looking for an orange that's the right color. Come on. Ooh, there are so many oranges on this one. <laughs> Hey, Amy, let's pick this one right here. So how do I pick this orange? All right, so we're gonna do is you're gonna pull and okay. twist. So I'll sit that yep. down. We're gonna pull and twist. There you go. Twist and pull. pull. Whoa! <laughs> you got two! I picked two oranges. <laughs> yeah. And look, they're a nice yellowish orange color, which means they're gonna be super sweet and tasty. Yeah. Okay, so I'll put these in our orange bag. Mm -hmm. Pick some more oranges. All right, gotcha. Okay, let's get this one up All here. Right. We're gonna use the picker because it's too high up for me to get. We'll grab it with the picker and then gonna twist it. Whoa, <laughs> hey, and we got it. And then you just reach into the picker and you got yourself a tasty orange. Mm. Thanks, Amy. You're welcome. Hey, and look, this orange tree has some really pretty white flowers. Huh. What are these white flowers called? Those are orange blossoms. Huh. Well, they sure are really pretty. What are these uh, flowers for? Just pretty decoration? No, so actually these are going to end up turning into this. What? No way! Yeah. Did you hear that? Those pretty orange blossoms are going to grow up big and strong and be a tasty fruit. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to eat some for myself. Hey, how about let's pick some more and then we can taste them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's keep picking some oranges. Pick them down. Whoa, here's another one. Yeah. One. Let's pick a second one. Two. Let's get another. Three. We can fit one more in there. Oh, we can fit one more. It's looking pretty full. Here we go. And. Four, <laughs> yeah, four oranges. And whoa, it looks like I filled up the entire bag with oranges, <laughs> yeah. These are gonna be really tasty in juice or just by themselves. <laughs> well, thanks so much, Amy. You're welcome. Let's go eat them, come on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was so much fun picking all of those tasty oranges from the orange grove. And now we get to enjoy them by making some tasty orange juice. Yeah, we have everything we need right here. We have some cups. Ooh. <laughs> we have our oranges. That'll have all the juice. We have our juicer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this juicer will put the oranges in here and that'll squeeze out all the juice into our cup. And last but not least, we have our cutting board and we have a knife. Now, the first thing we need to do is take our orange and cut it in half. But just remember to never use a knife without a parent's help. Okay, here we go. Whoa, look at it. It's so colorful inside. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> so silly. Yeah, look at the inside. There's all these little parts that hold in all that sweet orange juice. Yeah, and look at the outside of it. All that little parts that are all white, that's called the pith. Yeah, the pith is a really healthy part of the orange. So if you're ever eating an orange, make sure you eat that part too, because it has lots of healthy vitamins. Cool. Okay, so we have our oranges cut in half. And now, take the juicer and a cup. Put the orange in the juicer. And we're going to squeeze really hard. And we'll watch as all the juice comes out of the bottom. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa, look at it. Whoa, woo. <laughs> yeah, and then you just take the orange out, put them right there, put in the other half. <laughs> Whoa, look at all that orange juice. Whoa, it's really good that we have this juicer to help us get all the juice out. Otherwise, it would be really tricky juicing these oranges. Also, 
If you look at the bottom, the orange juicer has all these teeny little slits. Yeah. And those slits help to catch all of the seeds inside of the orange. Yeah. Each orange, woo, these are kind of hard to pick up, has these teeny tiny little seeds. And the seeds are going to one day grow up and be really strong, big trees. First, the seed, you plant it in the soil, and a little leaf sprouts up. And then, after you water it and take care of it for a little bit, it'll become a seedling, which is kind of like a teeny tiny little baby tree. And then it grows into a small tree, and then into a really big adult tree. And it will grow fresh oranges to pick off the tree. <laughs> Well, we already picked our oranges, so I'm gonna get to cutting and juicing so we can taste some yummy orange juice. Let's go! <laughs> Whoa, look at this one. This orange is red inside. Whoa! <laughs> That's really silly. Yeah, that's because this orange is called a red navel. It's colored red, but it'll still be really tasty. So we'll juice some of these too. was a lot of oranges to make this yummy cup of orange juice, <laughs> but I think it's all gonna be worth it. And now we get to taste the fruits of our labor. <laughs> okay, here we go. <gasps> oh, yeah! <laughs> this is really tasty. It's super sweet and really healthy too. Did you know that orange juice has lots of vitamin C in it? And it's really good for immunity to help you fight disease and stay nice and strong and healthy. <laughs> yeah! I think I'm gonna have another sip. <laughs> so tasty! Well, thanks so much for helping me learn how to make some orange juice. <laughs> yeah! Hey! Whoa! That was so much fun picking oranges with our good friend Amy! and showcase of citrus. <laughs> oh, they were so tasty! <laughs> yeah! Oh, look at this! <laughs> it looks like it's time for the Bubbles Lab! Yeah! And look at what it says. Sink or float. <laughs> yeah! I love that game. Sink or float. And I have a really good idea. How about we see if the fruit that we learned about and these oranges will sink or float in some water? Oh, this is gonna be so much fun! <laughs> yeah. Hello! <laughs> Whoa! Look at all this stuff! I am so excited for sink or float! Whoa! And it looks like we get to do a science experiment! Yeah! A science experiment. <laughs> Do you know what that is? That's when you make a guess about something, like if it will sink or float, and then you try it out to see if your guess was right. <laughs> Let's go see if some fruit sink or float. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, look, it's all the delicious and colorful fruit from earlier. We have all kinds. Hey. Let's start with the strawberries and see if they sink or float. <laughs> okay, here we go. What do you think? Will they sink or float? Whoa, look at it. <laughs> they float to the top. Whoa, those strawberries are having a fun time floating. Woo, <laughs> let's try another fruit. Hmm. Oh, what about this fruit? This is an avocado. Let's see if it sinks or floats. <laughs> okay, here we go. On the count of three, we're gonna drop it in. Hmm, I wonder what it does. Three, two, one. Whoa, what's it gonna do? Oh, look at it. 
it sinks right to the bottom. <laughs> that was really cool. Okay, it's time to try one more fruit. Hey, what about an orange? Let's try the orange. Woo! <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Okay, here we go. Whoa! Whoa! Ooh, <laughs> that was bouncy. Now look, the orange floats to the top. Wait a minute. Oranges have peels. What if we peel it and try it again? Okay, let's try it. There's a little one, and it doesn't have its peel. It looks kind of silly. Ooh, <laughs> let's see if it sinks or floats. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> did you see it? Yeah, we know something sinks or floats because of density. If an orange with a peel is kind of loosely packed together, then it's gonna float. But like the peeled orange, if it's really tightly packed together, oh, <laughs> then it'll sink to the bottom. Wow, that was so much fun doing a science experiment with you of sink or float. <laughs> Whoa, all that sweet, sweet orange juice has me in the mood for some sweet, sweet dance moves. <laughs> yeah, let's do the OJ twist together. And here are the moves. Do you remember how we picked oranges with Amy? Yeah, you grab the orange and then you twist and you pull it up. And then you have an orange. So that's what we're gonna do. Grab an orange, grab an orange and twist. The second step is to have lots of fun and jump around while you're doing it. I'm so excited to dance with you. Let's go. Now take your hands and move your fist. You're doing it. The OJ twist. Do the OJ twist. Twist, twist, and twist like this, this, this. It'll be real sweet, sweet, sweet. Just move your feet, feet, feet. Do the OJ twist. Twist, twist, and twist like this, this, this. It'll be real sweet, sweet, sweet. Just move your feet, feet, feet. <laughs> was so much fun spending the day with you at the Orange Groves. Whoa! <laughs> we got to do so many awesome things like eat oranges and pick oranges and drink some tasty orange juice. <laughs> yeah! Oh, and we even got to do a really cool bubbles lab where we learned if oranges sink or float <laughs> and a lot of other fruits. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, can you spell my name with me? <laughs> yeah. E-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. <laughs>
It's me, Blippi. And today, we're here at Medieval Times in Orlando, Florida. Whoa! And look at it. It's a giant castle. <laughs> yeah! Whoa. We are at Medieval Times. That was a really long time ago. Like, all the way in the 11th century. Whoa! <laughs> Did you know back in Medieval Times, people didn't drive in cars. Ring, 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 ring. No, instead they rode horses. <laughs> so silly. Hey, have you ever wondered what it was like in medieval times? Yeah, me too. Well, today you and I get to go in the Orlando castle and learn all about it. Yeah. Maybe we can even see a real life knight. That would be so cool. <laughs> Come on, let's find out. It's a real life horse. Hello, Mr. Horse. Ah, <laughs> uh, he's so sweet. Today, we're here at the village stable. Yeah, a stable is where the horses get to eat yummy food <laughs> and take naps. <laughs> yeah, and get all ready and geared up for the tournament. <laughs> yeah. Hey, do you know what sound a horse makes? <laughs> yeah, that's right. They neigh. <laughs> neigh. <laughs> neigh. Hey, will you neigh like a horse with me? <laughs> okay, awesome. Here we go. Neigh. 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 <laughs> so silly. Well, this is a really nice horse, but how about you and I go help get the horses all geared up for the tournament? Come on, let's go. Whoa, look at it. This table has all the gear that we're gonna need to get the horses all ready for the tournament. Yeah, and look at this. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, this, this is a brush to help get all the dust and the dirt out of the horse's back. Yeah, <laughs> this is a body brush. So it's for the body of the horse. Whoa, and look at these ones right here. Hey, spiky. <laughs> yeah, these are brushes for the horse's mane and tail. Yeah, they have longer bristles so that they can get through the hair, kind of like the hair on your head. Ooh, ooh, ee. <laughs> so silly. Whoa, and look at this. This is everything we need to put on the horse. We have the saddle pad. Yeah, this saddle pad is really soft and squishy. Ooh, squish, 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 squish. <laughs> and this goes on the horse first to make sure that the saddle is super comfy. Yeah. Whoa, and look at it. This is a really big saddle. The saddle can ooh, be kind of heavy and it goes on the back of the horse so that the knights can ride all around. <laughs> and it buckles in, so it's kind of like a belt for the horse. Woo. <laughs> we'll just clip that in, get on top and ride the horse super fast. <laughs> so silly. Whoa, and this, this is the last thing that we need to put on top of the horse. This is a comparison. Yeah, and this comparison is the color green and brown. Yeah, good job. Yeah, the comparison helps the knight tell one horse and knight from another horse and knight so they don't all look the same in their metal armor and the white horses. Yeah, so this comparison, this will go over the saddle last. Well, that's everything we need. Now it's time to get ready to get the horse ready for the tournament. Okay, first, let's grab a brush. Come on. Oh, hello. Hey, look. This is a really beautiful horse. Hello. His name is Humo. Hi, Humo. <laughs> First, let's brush Humo's fur. His hair. <laughs> Horses don't have fur. So silly. <laughs> yeah. Brush, brush, brush. All the dust. Brush off all the dust. <laughs> yeah. And now that we've cleaned Humo and got all the dust and dirt out of his back, 
we can put on the saddle pad, the saddle, and the comparison. Let's go. We helped Humo get all dressed up for the tournament. And look, now he's the color green and brown. <laughs> yeah! Well, that was so much fun helping Humo get all geared up. But now I think it's time for you and me to get all dressed up for the tournament ourselves. <laughs> OK, we're about to go, but I think Humo's done a really good job being a horse. And he's had all of his yummy vegetables and fruit for dinner. So we're going to give him a sugar cube. <laughs> Hello? Good job, Humo. Woo! <laughs> that tickles. Woo! <laughs> Humo, you're such a good horsey. Well, now it's time to go get dressed up ourselves. Come on! Hey! It's me, Knight Flippy. <laughs> That's so silly. I'm not a real knight. But today, you and I get to learn about what it was like to be a knight a thousand years ago. Whoa! That was a really long time ago. Have you ever wondered what it was like to be a knight? Hmm, well, you had to be brave and you had to ride horses. Nay, 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 <laughs> so silly. And you had to be strong and kind. Whoa, on second thought, it actually is pretty tricky being a real knight. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> look at it, a real knight. And now it's time to knight Sir Blippi. I am so excited because you and I don't only get to learn about knights, but I get to become a knight. But first, I need to complete three knights challenges. Whoa, and look at this. This is the first knights challenge. It's called the Big Rings Challenge. <laughs> yeah. So the way to win the Big Rings Challenge is to take a lance, which is like a really long stick, and to put it through two rings in a row. One here, and one way down there. <laughs> if you only get one, you gotta do it again until you get both to complete the Knight's Challenge. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be so much fun. But first, I need to get some Knight's gear. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. It's a real life. Knight's Lance! Whoa! And this is really heavy. This is what I'm gonna use to try to complete the Big Rings Challenge. Hmm, but what's a knight without its trusty steed? And hey, look, this is my trusty horse, Brownie. Hey! Hello, Brownie. Hello! Ooh. <laughs> okay, I have my Lance and I have Brownie, so we're all ready to do the Knight's Challenge. Let's go! Nay! Okay, here we go. Ready, Brownie? Nay! <laughs> okay, I'm ready to Knight's Challenge! <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Whoa. Uh-oh, I only got one ring. That means that Brownie and I are gonna have to try the Knight's Challenge one more time. Nay! Brownie thinks so too. Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. I think I can do it. Let's go! <laughs> yeah! Whoa. Whoa, that was really hard. I'm getting tired after that night's challenge. But look, we got both of the rings. <laughs> Thanks, Brownie, for helping me out. Hey, <laughs> that was so much fun. And now it's time to move on to the second night's challenge. Let's go find out. Come on. Whoa, Brownie. <laughs> yeah, we completed the first night's challenge. We're really close to becoming a knight. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the second Knight's Challenge is even harder, needing agility and strength and really good horse riding skills. <laughs> yeah, it's called the Flag Toss. It's when 
me and another knight will toss a flag back and forth three times. And if you catch it all three times, then you complete the challenge. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm gonna need a little bit of help. So my friend, Sir David, is gonna help me out. Okay, ready, Sir David? Ready. Okay, here we go. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, we did it. We caught the flag three times. <laughs> this is so much fun. Thanks, Brownie. Nay! <laughs> yeah. Okay, so all we have left is the third challenge. And it's a really, really tricky one. It's called the Knight's Dress Up Challenge. I have to get all geared up with all the night clothes in under 10 seconds. Whoa! I don't think I'm gonna need your help on this one, Brownie. Bye-bye. I'll see you later at the stables. Nay! <laughs> Whoa. Okay, I think I'm all ready. Put the time on the clock. Here we go! Whoa, this armor is so cool. Yeah, we did it. We did all three of the knight's challenges. And now I get to be Knight Blippy. Woohoo! I'm so excited that I think you and I should do a victory dance. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that was so awesome. Now I get to be a knight. <laughs> Not so fast, Blippy. Oh, hey, Sir David. There's still two more challenges left. Huh, two more challenges? but we already completed three. Hmm, I guess two more won't be so hard. So what are the next two challenges? Well, first you have to learn the Knight's Code. Whoa, do you know what the Knight's Code is? Me neither. Uh, Sir David, what's the Knight's Code? A Knight is sworn to valor. Okay, so we need to be really brave. His heart knows only virtue. Okay, so that means, hmm, we'll be really kind. His blade defends the helpless and his might upholds the weak. Hmm. That means you should always help others who need some help. And his words speak only truth. Always tell the truth. <laughs> Those are easy. We can do that. What's the other challenge? Well, the other challenge is the javelin toss. Whoa, that sounds like it's gonna be really, really hard. But hey, I got all my knight's armor and I think we can do it. Yeah, okay, here we go. Woo. I think I'm all ready to go. Come on. Wow, I can't believe we get to meet the queen and start the knighting ceremony. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we go. I, Doña Maria Isabella, queen of this castle and ruler of this realm, W. D. Blippi, once, twice, and thrice as knight of the realm. <laughs> yeah! We did it! <laughs> Good job! Thanks for helping me complete all of the knight's challenges. They were really tricky, but we did a really good job. <laughs> it was so much fun learning all about knights from the 11th century, which was really, really long ago. And it was nice that we learned that knights aren't only strong, but they're kind and they like to help others. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> yeah! B-L-I-P-P-I, Blippi! Good job! <laughs> Well, I guess it's Sir Blippi now. <laughs> so silly. Well, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye! Today, we're going on a great green adventure. It's going to be so much fun. And along the way, we're gonna be on the lookout for some special puzzle pieces that will help us learn about a few things we can do to help keep our Earth super healthy. Come on, let's go! me Blippi. Wow, and look at where I'm at. Yeah, today I'm at Priest Point Park in Olympia, Washington. Whoa, and look at this place. Wow, there's some moss on this giant tree. Oh, look, here's some shrubs. Yeah, this is actually a fern. Wow, 
in this video, we are going to learn about keeping our planet happy and healthy. Woohoo! Wow! It's raining! <laughs> I love the rain. Wow, have you ever danced in the rain before? Woo! It's so fun! <laughs> yeah, our planet has so many different climates. And right now, I'm in a rainy forest! Wow, this is so cool! Oh, it's really pouring now. <laughs> Makes me so happy. Woo! Oh jeez, I love being in nature. Wow, it's such a great place to be. <laughs> Whoa, look at this massive tree. Whoa, it's bark. Feels so cool on my hands. Whoa, it's so textured. Whoa, that's really cool. Wow, I love plants. Trees, shrubs, flowers. <laughs> yeah, there's so many great plants because they provide us oxygen. Yeah, and other things like vegetables, fruit. <laughs> but it's not all about us enjoying nature. We need to give back as well. Yeah, have you ever planted a plant before? <laughs> yeah, it is so much fun. Digging in the dirt, planting the plant, watching it grow. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, <gasps> what is this? Do you see what I see? Yeah, this is a puzzle piece. Whoa, check it out. I love puzzles. <laughs> huh, look at it. I wonder if there's more puzzle pieces around here. Will you help me look? Hey, it's our first puzzle piece on a great green adventure. And our first step in learning how to keep the earth healthy. Step number one, is to clean up. Cleaning up helps get rid of pollution. Pollution is when you make the land, water, or air dirty. So by cleaning up, we're getting rid of pollution and that's good for our earth. <laughs> yeah! Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! The Blippi Cleanup Crew is here to party! Woo! <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited to make sure this place is nice, clean, and tidy. Yeah, it's really good for our planet to make sure that it's clean and tidy. All right, first thing we need is our cleanup gloves. And there is the first glove. And here is our second glove. Hey, what color are these? Yeah, the color blue. <laughs> Woo! All right, let's see if we can find some trash. Hmm, let's see. Looks like a bunch of leaves and grass yeah, and soil. That's all good. <laughs> all right. Hmm, do you see any? I'm not seeing any. Oh, you see some? Oh, down there? Oh, yeah, we found some trash. Well, when this is here and it's not supposed to be here, it's called littering and littering is bad. And that makes me angry. But you and I are here to help. All right, first let's pick it up yeah, and put it in here. But do you know what this is? Yeah, this is paper. And paper, we can actually recycle it. <laughs> that means that we'll be able to reuse it later. <laughs> All right. See if we can find some more. Oh, you see some more? Oh, down here? Wow, good find. Uh, it should not be here though. <laughs> but like I said, you and I are here to help. All right, let's see. What is this? Is it a musical instrument? musical instrument and it was also litter <laughs> but hey we can actually use this for later and that's called recycling and this can will be able to recycle <laughs> good job 
<laughs> Do you see any? Oh, back there? Oh, yeah! We found another piece! Wow! Good job! We are doing such great work today! Whoa! And this is a plastic bottle! Oh, I wonder what was in here at one time. Who knows? <laughs> We're too busy. Gonna recycle this. <laughs> yeah! Another thing to recycle! Yeah, we have found so many things in this park that we can recycle. Yep, and reuse. <laughs> and this... <laughs> this is a glass bottle. Yeah, glass is also recyclable. So, let's put it in the bag and use it for later. Yeah, and you know what this is? <laughs> A really loud plastic water bottle! <laughs> and water bottles that are plastic, you can recycle! Here we go! <laughs> Did you hear that? <gasps> I stepped on an aluminum can. <laughs> an aluminum you can recycle. <laughs> so let's put it in here and let's recycle. Come on. Wow, check it out. Wow, four bins to put all the litter that we found. Yeah, into them so then we can recycle. All right, let's see what they read. This one says can, C-A-N, can. <laughs> this one says plastic, P-L-A-S-T-I-C, plastic. Glass, G-L-A-S-S, -S, glass. And last but not least, Paper, P-A-P-E-R, paper. Okay, now we need to take all the items that we just found and sort them so then they can be recycled. <laughs> all right, let's see. The first item that we found, oh yeah, you remember what this is? Let's see. Which one do you think it goes in? Cans? No. Plastic? No. Glass? No. Yeah! This is paper! Yeah! There you go! <laughs> All right, what else do we have in here? Let's close our eyes. Oh, yeah! The plastic water bottle! <laughs> All right, which one of these is for plastic? Hmm, let's see. Oh yeah, plastic. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's close our eyes. Wow, remember this? Yeah, the musical instrument. All right, enough playing around. We need to clean up our planet. All right, what is this? Is it a can, plastic, glass, or paper? Yeah, it's a can. <laughs> All right, just a few more things. Whoa, check this out. Yeah, this clear bottle, it's really hard. 
Wow, I can't crush it, but it's pretty delicate. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is glass. All right, here we go. <laughs> yeah. We finished the first step on our great green adventure. Nice job cleaning up all that litter and recycling. Remember, recycling is when we take paper, plastic, glass, and cans and allow them to be turned into something else instead of thrown away. An easy thing we did to make the world a better place. All right, what else is in here? <gasps> Whoa, look at what we found. Another puzzle piece. Whoa, good job. We are doing so great today. Hey, what's on it? Hmm. Yeah, this is an electric car. Another piece of the Great Green Adventure Puzzle. Woohoo! Step number two. Let's check out an electric car. Electric cars are super cool because they run on electricity instead of gas. And that's great for our Earth. But before we do that, let's learn a little more about respecting our planet Earth, because it's our home. Look at the plants, look at the trees, all the beautiful colors, all the gorgeous leaves. Our Earth is green, our Earth is blue, protect its goodness for me and you. Our Earth is rare and we only get one, let's help it along, come on, it's fun. Respect the trees, they give us lots of air Respect the creatures, give them lots of care Respect the plants, cause they help us all to breathe Respect the water, the oceans and seas When we make a change, we'll see the worth We all have to help and respect our Earth Wow, what a beautiful day it is out here Oh. Whoa, check it out. Do you see what this is? Yeah, this is a red and white vehicle. <laughs> Looks like a small car or a truck. <laughs> and today, you and I are gonna meet someone really cool. That's Dave over there and he is awesome. He did something awesome. He took a gas powered vehicle and converted it to run on electricity. <laughs> I am so excited to meet Dave and check out his cool vehicle. Let's go. Wow, check it out. This little logo says E-V. Yeah, the two letters E-V stand for electric vehicle. Whoa, and these, <laughs> these little speakers, yeah, these are the horn. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. What a cool vehicle. Oh, hello. Wow, what a great interior. <laughs> oh, hey Dave, how are you? Hi, Felipe, how are you? Oh, good, thank you for showing us your cool vehicle. What's this? That's the battery. It's actually 48 batteries all connected together with these copper bars. Wow, you said it's 48 batteries all 48. connected? connected into one big battery. Wow. Hey, have you ever named this vehicle before? Yeah, it's O Sparky. O Sparky? Hey, yeah, this is this vehicle's name. O Sparky. O S P A R K Y. Oh, O Sparky. Is that because it runs on electricity? Yeah. <laughs> That's a cool name. Hey, if this is the battery, Where's the motor at? The motor's up front. You want to see it? Yeah! All right. Wow! Whoa! Check it out! This is the motor of O Sparky. Can you tell us what all this stuff is? Well, this is a real big motor. And this is the, this is what brings the power from the battery to the motor. And this is the brains that tells this how much power the motor needs. Wow, that is really cool. Hey, can I drive O Sparky today? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah.
Wow, check it out. Yeah, this is the charging cord of O'Sparky. All right, there we go. Yeah, you know how gasoline vehicles have a little area to fill it up with gasoline? Not this one. This one has a cable. Wow. And then this is how you charge the batteries. So first, you have to plug it in, just like that. And then you let it sit. <laughs> in the meantime, let's check out the vehicle. Whoa, look at this. Yeah, flames. <laughs> wow, these flames are the color red. Yeah, just like this. Hey, and what color is this? White. Whoa. And look down here. Oh, some cute wheels and tires. <laughs> what color is the rubber on this tire? Yeah, it's the color black. And the wheel is white. And the lug nuts are red. Wow. Hey, and the little mirror right here. <laughs> Hello. Hey. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow, and then we saw this earlier. This is where the batteries of O'Sparky are. Wow, and this is actually wood. Whoa, <laughs> well, I think we should hop on the inside and check it out. Woohoo! Let's check out the inside of the super rad vehicle. <laughs> All right, first things first. Yeah, safety first. That's why I'm gonna put on my seat belt. There we go, tighten it up. Perfect. All right, check this out. This is the steering wheel. And in the center of the steering wheel, we have the horn. Listen. <laughs> So silly. All right, down here we have some foot pedals. This, yeah, that is the throttle. This is the brake. And the left one is the clutch, but you don't use that in this vehicle. <laughs> All right, and right here, this is the parking brake. Okay, here we go. Whoa, do you see how I'm moving? Whoa, okay, I put my foot on the brake because as soon as I release this, and didn't have my foot down there. Then we started to roll. <laughs> okay, this is how you go forward. And that is how you go backward. Wow, <laughs> that is really cool. And then, just like a normal vehicle, we have a key down here. Wow, and this is to change the gears. There's only two gears in this vehicle. <laughs> wow, this is such a really cool vehicle. We finished step number two on our great green adventure. That electric car is good for the environment and definitely helps with pollution. <laughs> hey, that was fun. Whoa, what was that? Whoa, yeah, a puzzle piece. Whoa, and this puzzle piece has seeds on it. Whoa. <laughs> Let's add it to our great green adventure puzzle. Step number three on our adventure. Let's learn about seeds and plants. Did you know that plants come from little itty bitty baby seeds? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Then they grow into big and tall plants that help make the oxygen we breathe. <sighs> so plants are really important to a healthy earth. Let's go check some out. Check it out, 
I'm at Urban Earth Nursery in Seattle, Washington. And this place is so awesome. There are so many plants here and plants are great for our planet. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Whoa, this is a clay pot. Whoa, that's a really big pot. And this is what you can plant some plants in. Hello. All right, put that back right there. <laughs> Let's go. Wow, I love all these plants. They're so colorful. Hey, what color is this plant? Yeah, it's the color green. Whoa. Hey, and check out this. This is a flower. Do you see what color that flower is? Yeah, it's kind of like a pinkish, light purple. Let's just call it pink with white. Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> wow. Whoa, look at all of these. I love plants because they bring so much great oxygen to our planet. Oh, hey, these are edible plants. That means you can eat them. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> There's a lot of herbs here like this. Check it out, that's parsley. Yeah, you've probably had that in some of your food before. And then some cilantro. Oh, looks like a little animal ate some last night. <laughs> wow. Oh, and look at that. Looks like we have some mint. Mm. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Smells minty fresh. <laughs> Wow! Looks like we have some vines. Vines are cool because they grow up. Yeah, and around and they grab onto things. Wow, look at it. You see how tall this plant is? It's because it's wrapping itself around these pieces of wood. That is really cool. <laughs> what a smart plant. Looks like we have some sweet box. Sweet box. Yeah, sweet box is a great plant for hummingbirds. They love to eat this plant. Yeah, well, the nectar at least. <laughs> and did you know hummingbirds can flap their wings so fast? Oh, look, there's a person. Hey, hi. Who are you? My name's Katie. Oh, nice what to meet you, Katie. Yeah. I'm I what, what are these? These are evergreen trees. Whoa. That means they keep their leaves or needles all year long. Wow. What lucky trees. Well, hey, I have a question. Do you know any place around here that I can plant some plants? I do. Follow me. All right. Here's a great place to plant some plants. Cool, awesome. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, <laughs> do you know what you're doing? Yep, I think I got it. Thank All you. Right. <laughs> Have fun. See ya. Wow, I am so excited. Okay, so it looks like we have all the things that we need to plant some plants. Looks like we have a lot of soil. Whoa, wee. <laughs> yeah, and this soil is packed full of organic nutrients. Wee. <laughs> Whoa, soil is so fun. I love adding water and then it gets all muddy and it's so fun to splash and play in. But today we're planting plants. <laughs> okay, and then we have a little container. Yeah. And then what we need to do is put some soil in the container. And then after we put the seeds, oh, there they are. The seeds in the soil, then we water them and then sun goes on it and then the plants will grow. Okay, so let's do that now. First, let's put on our gloves. One glove on, two gloves on. So now I won't get dirty. <laughs> All right, put that over there. <laughs> All right, let's take our container and fill it up with soil. We go three scoops filled up this container all right now let's 
pack it down just slightly. There we go. Actually, let's add a little bit more. All right. So now what we're gonna do are take these seeds and put them in the holes that we poke in there, okay? But for this, I'm gonna use my hand. So let's poke one hole, huh. two hole, three holes. There we go. Perfect. And now, check this out. These seeds are so small. You see how small those are? Wow, it is so crazy to think that these little seeds will grow into plants. There we go. Now, let's cover up the holes. Perfect. Now that there's seeds in there, covered up nice and gently, now we get to water it. Wow, perfect. <laughs> wow. Now, have you ever wondered what seeds we just planted? Yeah, I didn't tell you, did I? <laughs> yeah, we actually planted lavender seeds. Oh. Hey, check it out! And when those seeds grow up to get bigger, this is what they're gonna look like. This is a lavender plant. Whoa, smells so good, you can eat it. And when it's spring and summertime, it blooms into a beautiful plant like this. Whoa, I am so excited. Hey, good job. <laughs> Step number three on our great green adventure, check. Our little plant will give the world some much needed oxygen that we breathe every day. <sighs> Great job! Woohoo! That was so much fun planting those seeds! <laughs> well, hey, I think we should find some plants that we could go plant in the wilderness and then we'll make our earth even prettier! <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, hey! This area is called the native plants area. Yeah, all of these plants are perfect for planting around here. Yeah, which are plants that are native to where we're at right now. Wow, these look so cute. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, the last puzzle piece. This is a picture of the sun. This is awesome. This is the last thing that we need in order for all these plants to grow big and healthy. Water, soil, and sun. The final piece of our great green adventure puzzle. Awesome. Step number four on our adventure is learning how to help our plants grow. By giving our plants room to grow, their roots can spread and get even bigger. With the right amount of soil, water, and sunlight, they'll grow up and get nice and strong. Happy, healthy plants will make for a happy, healthy earth. Let's grab one of these. Hey, this looks pretty perfect. This is a fern. Wow, this fern is great. Whoa, 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 check this out. Yeah, my two favorite colors, a blue flower. Oh, and that's kind of orange. Whoa, I think we should totally take these as well and plant them. <laughs> yeah, good job. Right here on earth, we have all we need. Our friend, our home, we plant the seed. From the air we breathe, to the water we drink, to the land we live on, really makes you think. From the mountains high, to way down below, we all share the earth. Now it's time you know. Respect the trees, they give us lots of air Respect the creatures, give them lots of care Respect the plants, cause they help us all to breathe Respect the water, the oceans and seas When we make a change, we'll see the worth We all have to help and respect our earth That was a big hill. And what I'm doing 
It's taken all of these items up to the top of the hill so then we can plant the plants. <laughs> hey, let's check out wh what I brought up here. Yep, I brought my gardening gloves. <laughs> Looks like I brought my big shovel. Yeah, so we can dig in the dirt so then we can put our plant that we brought from the nursery into the hole. And this is a fern. And this fern is native to this area. So it's gonna thrive in this environment. <laughs> Ooh, a little hand shovel. Whoa. And then the two cute flowers. So cute. <laughs> oh, can't forget about the wheelbarrow. Wow. Hey, and some water. Yes, yeah, so we can plant. Ooh, so we can water the plant after we plant it. Oh, and last but not least, yeah, mulch. Whoa, check it out. Mulch is actually just chopped up pieces of bark. Yeah, check that out. Bark and wood and plants. Yeah, it actually provides nutrients to the soil and also it helps make sure the soil maintains its moisture. <laughs> okay, let's get to planting. Whoa, 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 check it out. Do you see this tree? Oh, what a cute little tree this is. <laughs> hey tree, how are you? Thank you for being you. But hey, this is a young tree and it's really small. But check this out. Whoa, when it grows up, it's gonna be really big like that tree. Wow, I love trees. They're so great for our planet. All right, let's see here. Ooh. All right, okay, first thing we need to do is find a great place for our fern. Let's see, how about right here? All right, here we go. All right, so what I'm doing is making sure I dig a hole that's about two times the size of the fern's pot. Yeah, there we go. Perfect, that looks real good. <laughs> All right, hey, I'm about to get really messy, so let me put on my gloves. I probably could have put the gloves on before I used the shovel, but that's okay, okay. There we go. Perfect. Let's take this fern. Are you ready to be in your new home, fern? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna be very careful and flip it upside down. Shake it. There we go. And then I'm gonna place it nice and gently right here and put the soil back. There we go. See how I'm putting the soil all around the edges and the sides? Perfect. Wow, and I'm breaking up all the big clumps. Wow, this fern is gonna grow up to be really big and strong. Perfect. Let's scoop up a few scoops of mulch. Put it in our little planter bucket. And what we're gonna do is put this on top of the soil, all around the fern. There we go. Perfect, wow. Let's get a few more scoops. Wow, this is awesome, good job. I love planting plants. Like I said, it's really good for our planet to be able to plant plants. <laughs> and since this is a native plant, like I said earlier, it's gonna thrive around here. But hey, what else do we need to do? Yeah, we need to water it. All right, ooh, here we go. All right, here we go, here you go, woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! There we go. That's a good amount of water for now, but since it's a native plant, yeah, 
yeah, the rain around here is gonna provide a lot of water, so we don't have to come out here every day to water it. <laughs> Let's put these two plants around here. <sighs> so then, it looks nice and pretty. Wow, how does it look? <laughs> yeah, I think it looks so good, we should probably take some photos. All right, I have a fun game. First, we're gonna act like three different things. Seed, stem, and flower. Ready? First, act like a seed. Oh, get nice and small. <laughs> now act like a stem. <laughs> and now, act like a flower. Yeah! All right, here we go. Yeah! Seed, stem, Flower, seed, stem, flower, stem, seed, flower. The last step on our great green adventure, check. We gave our new friends soil, water, and sunlight that they needed to grow big and strong. And more plants is always great for the earth. Great job, hey! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> have you had fun today? Yeah, I sure have had a lot of fun with you as well. Yeah, we found a lot of puzzle pieces. Whoa! I love puzzles. They're so challenging. <laughs> hey, let's go over the four puzzle pieces that we found today. Puzzle piece number one taught us to clean up and recycle. Cleaning up and recycling helps things to grow and gets rid of pollution. And that's really healthy for our Earth. Puzzle piece number two took us to O oh Sparky and taught us about electric cars. Remember, they use electricity instead of gas, and that's good for the environment because they don't create as much pollution. Plus, he was such a cute little car. Beep, beep. Puzzle piece number three was all those little tiny seeds. Remember them? We visited the different plants at the nursery and even learned how those tiny seeds grow to become adult plants and flowers that give our air some clean oxygen. And finally, puzzle piece number four taught us what our plants need to grow big and strong. When there are more plants in the world, there are more homes for animals, more food to enjoy, and cleaner air for us to breathe. <sighs> Great job. Okay, I have an idea. Why don't I try and put all these puzzle pieces together and see what it looks like? Huh, there's two. All right, there's three. Wow, we have four puzzle pieces all put together. Hey, what shape is this? Yeah, it's a circle. Whoa, and look at what we made. Yeah, a puzzle of our planet Earth. Hey, and all four of these things on these puzzle pieces are just a few ways that we can make our planet a healthier, happier place. Whoa, I love our planet Earth, and I love you. Thank you so much for being my friend, and thank you so much for helping me, Blippi, make our planet a happier and healthier place. Woo! Walking through the forest, look at all the trees. They give us lots of air, what we need to breathe. Look at all the critters roaming on the ground They help carry the seeds to grow plants all around Flowers are a bloom and making lots of food For all the bugs and creatures, even me and you We're singing the earth song We're helping the planet Are 
use a little less water that goes really far. Make sure to recycle paper, glass, and plastic. Taking care of the earth will make you feel fantastic. You can plant a tree or pick up some trash. Ask a friend for help and it'll be a blast. We're singing the earth song. We're helping the planet. Together, together, we can make a change. Song. Come learn all about it Together, together It's time we start Let's do our part Let's do our part Let's do our part Hello friends, it's me, Blippi Today, we're visiting animals. Ready to meet some friends at the zoo? Come on! So much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and today I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. Hey, check it out. This is the zoo information area. Yeah, it has a map of the zoo. Hmm, I wonder what animals we're going to see today at the zoo. Oh, maybe we'll see, ooh, a grizzly bear. That would be so cool. Or, um, oh, they have gorillas here too. Oh, and they have so many different kinds of animals, like flamingos. Wow, oh, whoa, look at this tall animal. This is a giraffe. That is such a tall animal. Well, there's some animals for us to go learn about. Let's go! <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. Yeah, this habitat looks like Alaska, or the Pacific Northwest, or Canada. <laughs> yeah, and I have some enrichment for this animal. But hey, let me have you guess what animal this habitat is for. Yeah, it's a bear. It's a real big bear. Oh, it's brown. Yeah, it's a grizzly bear. Whoa, that is so crazy. Hey, all right, I got permission that I can spread this food and enrichment out so then the bear can enjoy it. Let's go. Okay, first I have some coffee grounds. See this? Yeah, that's just normal coffee. So if you sprinkle some right here, yeah, maybe the bear will roll in it. The bear loves to roll in coffee. <laughs> okay, how about right here? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, and maybe, uh, maybe some right here. There we go. All right, let's uh, put this right here and we will definitely grab that before we leave. Okay, look at these. These are biscuits. Yeah, this grizzly bear loves these biscuits. So I'll just try and, uh, you know, put some around here. Ooh, there we go. All right, let me throw some to give it a nice path. Hey, okay. ooh, what is this? Pumpkin pie spice? Yum! <laughs> All right. Let's just sprinkle some of this right around here. All right, I still have some biscuits. Check this out. Yeah, there's a lot of fruits and vegetables in there. Yeah, I love fruits and vegetables. Yeah, like celery with some peanut butter and honey on top, yum. <laughs> Ooh, looks like we have some grapes. Yum! Ooh, and we have some pears. And we have some carrots. Whoa! And some apples. Whoa! And some watermelon. Yeah, put some biscuits right here on this little island. 
All right. Perfect. Ooh, this food smells so good. All right. Sprinkle some more pumpkin spice. All righty. And then I'm gonna make it all the way down there to put some more food down there. Wow, this bear is going to have some good eating around here. <laughs> hey, and now let me get my container and then we'll let the bear out so then he can have some yummy snacks. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. There's Kima. Kima is a giant grizzly bear and he is loving those snacks we put out for him. Good job, let's check him out. is Dave, and Dave is a giraffe. He is so tall. Here you go, Dave. I'm feeding Dave some romaine lettuce. Dave loves lettuce and romaine. Hey, how are you? Whoa, check this out. Dave is using his tongue, kind of like a hand, to grab his food to pull it up into his mouth. Wow, Dave is so cool. <laughs> Here you go, Dave. All right. Okay, see you later, Dave. I have more animals to go visit. Let's go. Gorilla Habitat. Whoa, look at her. She is so cute. Whoa. Yeah, they're throwing some enrichment out. So then the gorillas have some snacks. I love snacks. All these gorillas here, the group is actually called a troop. Whoa, group rhymes with troop. <laughs> wow, all of these gorillas are actually females, except for two. Did you see the big one? Yeah, with the silver back? Yeah, that gorilla is the head honcho of this troop, and that is a silver back. And all of these gorillas are western lowland gorillas. Whoa! And there's also a second male. It's the little baby. Oh, so cute. <laughs> all right, let's watch him eat some food. Check it out. Yeah, these are garden fruit chafers. It's a type of beetle. Do you see what kind of food they're eating? Whoa. Yeah, looks like bananas. Yum. I like bananas too. Whoa. Look at where I'm at. I'm at Bug World Lab. Yeah, this is where all the bugs hang out and eat and sleep. Yeah, this is where they primarily live. Whoa. Looks like a lot of tarantulas up there. Whoa! And down here, a stick insect. A New Guinea stick insect. Whoa! That is so crazy! Wow, there are so many different types of bugs and insects back here. Whoa! Even more, oh, spiders. Ooh, and a venomous spider. We definitely don't want to open that one up. But hey, maybe if we go in the other room, they'll bring out some bugs 
for us to see up close and personal. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, check it out. Whoa, this is a jungle nymph. Wow, what color is she? Yeah, yeah, she is the color green. I actually knew it was a she because the males are brown and she is green. Yeah, do you see how she looks like a leaf? Yeah, she looks like a green leaf, but if it was a guy, he would look like a brown leaf. <laughs> wow, jungle nymphs are the heaviest insects in the world. Yeah, she's not even full grown yet, and look how big she is. Whoa, looks like she's just doing some stretches. <laughs> That's so silly. Wow, she is so cool looking. Whoa. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, this looks like a spider. Whoa, it is such a big spider. This is actually a Chilean rose-haired tarantula. Whoa, hello. I used to be really afraid of spiders, but not anymore. This one's actually really nice. Yeah, if I let it crawl on me, it wouldn't even bite me. This one is very nice and it looks really hairy. Look at her. Oh, yeah. This is actually a female. Whoa, and she is about 17 years old. Wow, what a cute little insect. Well, not little. <laughs> so big. <laughs> Whoa, what are these? These are flamboyant flower beetles. Wow, and they're so shiny. Yeah, the two colors that I see on them are green and yellow. Oh, and their little horns, the males, yeah, they have horns. It looks like it's the color red, orangish. Wow, they're just hanging out on this log. They love to eat fallen fruit. Yum, I love fruit too. <laughs> wow, check it out. I have some crustaceans on this piece of plexiglass. <laughs> yeah, these are perchula snails. Wow, they are so cute. Do you see how they have little hard shells? Yeah, that helps protect them. Wow, they're from the location of Tahiti. Wow, I love Tahiti. It's so sunny and beautiful there. <laughs> well, actually, there's none of these left in the wild. They're only in zoos, captivity. And we're actually trying to put them back out into their normal habitats. For now, we can just observe them and watch them eat their food. <laughs> Hello. Wasn't that fun learning about animals today at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington? Yeah, it sure was. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -I, Blippi. Good job. Well, I'm gonna go learn more about animals. Here I go. Hello, hey. It's me, Flippy, and look at where I'm at. Whoa, today I'm at Young Chef's Academy in Covington, Washington. This place is so cool. Yeah, it's where young chefs, kids just like you, can come here and learn to cook some delicious treats. <laughs> Let's go. Hi, Flippy. Hey, who are you? My name's Chef Riley. Oh, nice to meet you, Chef Riley. Hey, do you mind if we go explore the kitchen? Go for it, I'll see you in a sec. Okay, let's go. Wow, look at this kitchen. It is so bright and colorful. Whoa, come on. Okay, the very first thing that I need to do when you enter a kitchen is wash your hands. Okay, I'm gonna turn on hot water and then I'm gonna rinse them. Okay, get them nice and moist and then we need some soap. Okay, 
and we need to scrub for 20 seconds. And one way to do this is to sing the ABCs. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. <laughs> okay, now we get to rinse off our hands. Let's get them nice and dry. Now, once our hands are dry, clean, now, I can put on an apron. <laughs> yeah, an apron is used so then clothes not get dirty when you're cooking with some food. <laughs> All right. And can't forget my Young Chef's Academy chef's hat. <laughs> How do I look? Check it out! This kitchen is so colorful. Do you see all these cabinets? Yeah! Whoa! These, yeah, are the color green. Ooh, this over here, yeah, that cabinet is purple, pink, yellow, and blue! Whoa! I bet there's a lot of cool things in these cabinets. Whoa, look at this, some yummy vegetables. Hey, you know what kind of vegetable this is? Yeah, this is an orange pepper. <laughs> look at these, yeah, some green beans. I sure do love vegetables. All right, <laughs> I'm so excited. Whoa, I am so excited. This is gonna be tasty. I am looking at the recipe of what we're going to be making today. Looks like we're going to be making crispy green beans. Whoa, those look tasty. And creamy ranch dip. Oh, this is going to be so yummy and healthy. I love vegetables and I love ranch dip. I wonder if we're going to be able to dip the green beans into the ranch dip. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it seems like we need a lot of tools and a lot of ingredients. So, uh, let's get to it. All right, let's see what's in here that we need. Okay, looks like we need some measuring cups. Ooh, a small one. A medium-sized one. Another medium-sized one. And a big one. Put those right back here. Perfect. Then we need whoa, a juicer. This is where you can put a lemon or an orange or a lime, squeeze it on top, and then all the juice comes out the bottom. Okay, we'll set that down right there. Alrighty, let's see what's in here. Hmm. Oh, we definitely need some measuring spoons. Whoa! Yeah, same thing, just like the measuring cups. The measuring spoons have four different sizes. From small, to medium, to medium, to large. <laughs> okay, put them right, about oh, right in there. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, uh, let's see, how about, uh, oh. Wow, a measuring cup. This is what you put liquids, and you could do solids, but this is primarily for liquids. And this is what you measure to see how much you have. Okay, put that down right there. Oh, let's see. Is there anything in here? Hmm, there's a lot of cool things in here. Whoa, look at this! It's a rolling pin! <laughs> oh, so cute! This is a small rolling pin. Whoa! And this is a big rolling pin. Whoa, they're used to flatten things out. I don't think we need those today, but they're pretty cool because you can use them for drums. Okay, enough playing. <laughs> let's get to cooking. All right, let's see. Um, probably right in here. Oh, yeah. Two ingredients that we need. 
breadcrumbs, and flour. Perfect. Okay, we'll shut this. All right. There we go. And uh, let's see. How about some cold ingredients? Wow. Look at this fridge. It's so organized. <laughs> okay, looks like we have some cream. Probably for the ranch dip. We'll set that down right there. Ooh. Some cheese. Parmesan cheese. <laughs> okay, we'll put that down right there. And then we have some eggs. Yeah, check this out. Whoa, whoa. Okay, we'll put those down right there for later. <laughs> Probably shouldn't do that at home. And then we have some mayonnaise. Put that down right here. And some sour cream. Okay, put that down. And now, I think we're ready. Hmm. Uh, looks like we have most of the ingredients and tools, but this looks really hard. Oh no, if only I had some help. Huh. Want some help with these? Oh, sure. I hey. Hi, I brought the rest of our ingredients that we need. Oh, perfect. Okay, well, here's the recipe. What do we do first? First, we're gonna wanna preheat the oven to 425. Okay, uh, I know how to do that. Okay, preheat the oven to 425. Perfect. <laughs> Good job, Whoopi. Thank you. All right, first we're gonna wanna do a tablespoon of flour into our bowl. Okay. We're gonna wanna make sure that we get a true tablespoon because that is not accurate. So we wanna scrape off the extra flour. Okay. Okay, can you do that? Sure. Okay, looks like we need some flour. Do a little scoop, and there we go. And perfect. Great job, Lippy. All you. right. Next, we're gonna want to crack an egg. Okay. Let's see, so at Young Chefs Academy, we crack an egg using the table, not the edge of the counter, so that it doesn't get all over the floor in the mess. Okay. <laughs> you want to crack hard, oh, and use your thumbs to break open the egg. Just like that. Perfect. You'll want to put the shell in a separate bowl. Okay, here we go. Let's use the table. There we go. Great job, Luffy. Thank Next, you. Next, we're going to want to wash our hands because we touched a raw egg. Oh. rinse them off. It's really important to rinse off your hands and wash them completely after touching raw eggs or meat or anything like that. Now we're ready. Okay. All right, next we're gonna wanna do a cup of panko. Okay. Use our cup there. So this looks about right. Yeah, so is panko just like breadcrumbs? It is, it's dried breadcrumbs. Okay, all right. Oh, I'll just use that. Okay, one big scoop. All right, in the same bowl? Yeah, oh, so sorry, in a different bowl. Oh, okay. Oh, thank you. Okay, here we go. Whee! Perfect. All right, next we're gonna wanna add the rest of our spices. Okay. is garlic salt and salt. Okay. So we're gonna wanna use a, tea, a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic salt in our panko. Okay. There we go. This one? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then put it in the panko. Perfect. And then half of a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Thank you. Wow, salt is so yummy. There we go. Can you use your whisk and whisk that up? Yeah. 
Oh, check it out. This is a whisk. Yeah. <laughs> How do you do it? Whisk with your wrist. Okay. Whoa. This is a really good way to mix good it all up. Job. Yeah, you want to use it like that. All right. Next, we're going to want to put our egg into this mixing bowl. The clean mixing bowl that we have. Okay. Here we go. Put the egg in this bowl. Whee! Oh. <laughs> All right. And we're going to want to use a little bit of water. Some water like this. In with the egg. Perfect. Thank you. All right, put some water in with the egg. Perfect. Can you whisk, the, whisk that egg up with the fork for me? With the fork. Okay. Forks are easier to whisk eggs than a whisk is. Oh. So you want to whisk it just like that. Okay, so let's take the fork and let's whisk the egg. Whoa, did you see how the yolk broke up? Yeah, now it's all mixed up. Perfect. That's perfect. We're gonna grab a couple of handfuls of green beans right in here. Okay. All right. Perfect. And toss it in our flour. All right. Make sure you get them all nice and mixed up and coated in flour. Okay. Toss it. Wow. This Look is gonna them. help the egg stick to the green bean. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Look, they used to be green, but now they're green and white. <laughs> hey, remember how we washed our hands? Yeah, good thing we did because I'm touching food with my hands. You don't want to touch anything after you touch egg or raw meat. You want to make sure you wash your hands. Okay. All right, now we are going to touch the egg. We're going to put the green beans. We're going to use two different hands. We're going to have our dry hand and our wet hand. So we're not going to touch the egg with this hand. We're going to put our green beans in here and toss it around. Okay. Take the fork out. Now, do a little tossing. There we go. Whoa! <laughs> I'm spilling. That's okay. Okay. Wow. Look at it. <laughs> There's so much egg on these green beans. Okay. All right, great. Now you're going to want to put the green beans into the panko. Toss them around real quick. Okay. Wow. Good. <laughs> that looks job. fun. And once they're nice and evenly coated in panko, you want to put them onto the tray. Okay. Whoa. These are going to be so yummy. I know. I'm excited. Let's put them a little bit nicer so okay. that they're not so messy. Okay. All that right. way they'll cook really evenly when they're spread out on the there tray. There we go. That makes sense. Oh, I see. Because if they're on top of each other, then the heat can't touch the whole green bean, huh? Exactly. You want to make sure that the whole thing is getting cooked. We're ready for the oven. Okay. Go. Here you go. Thank you. Perfect. Those will take about 10 to 12 minutes to cook. Whoa, that was really fun making those green beans with you. Wasn't it? Yeah, let's make some ranch to dip them in. What ingredients do we need? We need mayonnaise, sour cream, buttermilk. Oh, wait, did you say buttermilk? Yeah. Oh, I said cream earlier. Okay, so we need buttermilk. Yeah, they're very similar, but buttermilk smells different and it's a little thicker. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, lemon juice, dill weed, parsley, chives, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, and black pepper. Okay, perfect. Looks like we have everything. I think we do. All right, next we're gonna wanna, so I have mine all mixed up. Can you put the mayo and the sour cream into your big bowl? Okay, here's the mayo. Then we have the sour cream. All right. Awesome. Now we're going to want to do half a cup 
cup of buttermilk into okay. your bowl. Alrighty. There we go. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna wanna get our fourth, one fourth teaspoon. Okay. Perfect, I'm ready. And we're gonna use that for our dill right here. Okay. Parsley and our chai. Okay. Dill, parsley, and chives. There we go. Good job, okay. <laughs> Next, we're gonna want our half teaspoon. Okay, a little bigger. <laughs> All right. All right, and we use that for our garlic powder okay. and our onion powder. All right. Okay, let's give it a little scoop. Okay, and then this one. Perfect. This is gonna be so yummy. All right, perfect. Let's mix that up with our whisk. All Don't right. forget, we whisk with our wrist. All right. Whoa, this smells so good. Once it's all mixed up, we're gonna cover it and place it in the fridge to cool. All right, we only have three more ingredients. Okay, what are they? Lemon juice, salt, and pepper. Okay. First, we want to juice our lemon. Okay. So you have a lemon right up there. Perfect. We have it cut in half, and we'll use our juicer here. We want to make sure we squeeze really tight, pushing down and twisting it around to get all of that juice out. Okay, yes, I'll try it. Oh, there we go. Good job. Oh, yeah. When you take it off, your lemon should look something like this. Yeah. It's almost empty. Perfect. <laughs> okay. There's that you. for you. And then we'll want to pour our lemon juice into our ranch. Okay, here we go. Whee! <laughs> awesome. Mix that up. All right. Yum. Now we want to do one fourth teaspoon of salt. Right like this. Okay, put some salt in here. There we go. Whee! <laughs> and a pinch of pepper. So we'll go about three twists. Okay. One, two, three. Perfect. Perfect. All right, let's mix that up. All right, mix, mix, mix. Just remember to mix with your wrist. Oh, yep. Oh, wow, this is gonna be so yummy. <laughs> delicious. Did you hear that? I did. Does that mean the green beans are done? It does, you wanna grab them? Sure. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> oh, yum. Wow. Oh, they look delicious, Blippi. Whoa, check them out. Oh my gosh. All right, Blippi, it looks like our green beans and zesty ranch are all ready. Oh, so good. Those look yummy, check them out. Whoa, I am so excited. Thank you so much for teaching us how to make these. Of course, you did such a good job. Come back anytime. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> See you later. See ya. Wow, I am so excited. <laughs> Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. That is delicious. <laughs> so silly. Yeah, you'd think because they're green, they're not good. <laughs> but hey, trust me, it's really fun to try new types of food. Yeah, like these yummy green beans that we made. Yeah. Mmm. 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 Yum. Even healthy foods can be really yummy. <laughs> Good job cooking! <laughs> Wasn't that fun making those green beans and that ranch dipping sauce? Yum! It was so tasty! 
Hey, if you want to check out the exact recipe, you can go to Young Chef's Academy website and check out their blog. Woohoo! Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout Blippi. Hey, it's me, Blippi. I'm just out on a walk. And hey, did you notice the ground is really wet? Yeah, it must have rained here recently. Maybe today you and I can learn about rain, weather, rainbows, and walks. <laughs>
Have you ever seen a rainbow before? Yeah, they love to come out after it rained. Yeah, a rainbow is an arch of colors made by light and water. Let's see if we can find one. Oh! 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 A rainbow! Oh! A double rainbow! Oh! Even a triple rainbow! Does rain come from? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> okay, let's start with water in a pond, or a stream, or the ocean. Yeah, water is a liquid at this time and place. And then water goes what's called evaporation. Yeah, evaporation is when the water becomes these little tiny particles and goes up in the air. Yeah, it turns into a gas, it goes up in the air, and then turns into some clouds. Whoa! Yeah! Clouds are awesome! Whoa, look at that cloud! That cloud looks like a piggy! Oink, 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 oink. Look at that cloud! That cloud looks like a T-Rex! <laughs> wow! And then all this gas water starts to come closer and closer and closer. Yeah, and those clouds start to form into liquid water again. Yeah, and then rain starts to fall. Whoa! Yeah, it's raining! <laughs> Whoa! And then they create puddles and streams and ponds, and the water goes back into the ocean again. And then the cycle goes over and over and again and again. Wow, that water cycle is so great. Woohoo! <laughs> Today's weather forecast sunny skies in the morning, followed by storms in the afternoon. Don't forget your umbrella. nice, lots of sunshine, clouds of white, and a bright blue sky. But the sky's turning gray, there's wind and some rain, it looks like it's gonna be a stormy day. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather, like sunny, breezy, cloudy, warm, pleasant days. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather, like windy, rainy, stormy, hot, muggy days. A lightning bolt, that thundering sound, there's a storm coming any moment now. Tornadoes, hurricanes, and floods, sometimes weather can be dangerous. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather, like sunny, breezy, cloudy, warm, pleasant days. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather, like windy, rainy, stormy, hot, muggy days. And when it's really, really cold, snowflakes will fall from the sky. Everything goes quiet, and everything is covered in white. Hey, the rain has stopped, and the sun's shining again. Snowy, 
Icy blizzard, cold, frigid days. Weather, weather, all kinds of weather. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B L I P P I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you later. Bye bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make learning fun. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout. Flippy. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout. Flippy. Hello. Hey, it's me, Flippy. And look at where we're at. Yeah, we're at Santa, which is in Seattle, Washington. And Santa stands for School of Acrobatics and New Circus Arts. Yeah, have you ever been to a circus before? I love circuses, they are awesome. And today, you and I are gonna learn about some circus art. <laughs> Look at this place, it is so cool. And the floor that we're on is pretty bouncy. Whoa! Okay, the first thing I need to do is take off my shoes. All right, there we go. Let me put them right over here. And now, before we do anything with circus, we need to stretch. All right, oh, whoa. Yeah, it's really important to stretch so then our muscles are nice and loose. So then, we don't injure ourselves. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, woo. Oh, I stretched out my back, my legs, my arms. Oh, now that I'm all stretched, I think we should learn the rules of the circus. Whoa, check them out. The rules of circus. Yeah, number one, have fun. <laughs> pretty easy. We love to have fun. Number two, be safe. Yeah, safety is really important. We definitely don't want to get hurt, do we? No. Number three, work hard. Yeah, I love working hard because it's so fun to start at one point and get to another. And the only way you can improve is working hard. <laughs> and number four, be kind to each other. I love being kind. It's so cool that you are kind to your friends and family. Good job. All right, now it's time for some circus stuff. Woohoo! Woohoo! This is awesome. Hey, check out what I'm on. Woohoo! Yeah! Do you know what this is? Whoa! Yeah, this is a trampoline. Check it out. The bouncy part? Yeah, what color is this? Yeah, this is the color black. Oh, and look at this. A safety pad, just in case if you go off the center and then you don't get hurt. What color is the safety pad? Yeah, it's the color red. <laughs> All right, let me jump. Woohoo! Can you think of an animal that can jump real high? Whoa! Yeah, how about one that carries its babies in a pouch? Yeah, yeah, kangaroo. Boing, boing, boing. Woohoo! What about one that loves to be in the swampy areas and it makes it sound like ribbit, ribbit? Woohoo! Yeah, frog! Yeah! Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! Jumping is so much fun. Whoa, did you see that? That was awesome. <laughs> hey, Blippi. Hey. How are you doing? Yeah, good. That was awesome. Thank you so much. What's your name? My name is Max. Oh, nice to meet you, Max. Do you know how to jump on the trampoline? I sure do. Will you show us? Yeah. Stay right here. Kneel right here and wait for me. OK. Ready?
These are called aerial silks. Whoa, they're so cool. Yeah, and I am in a green silk and Max is on a purple silk. It's like I'm in a cocoon. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> Can you think of an insect that hangs out in a cocoon? Whoa! Yeah. They start as a normal insect, then they go in a cocoon, they go through metamorphosis, and then they turn into a butterfly! Yeah! I'm a caterpillar! Whoa! Look at me! He's the butterfly! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, check it out! This is a tight wire. Yeah, this is where you can practice your balance. Yeah! And balance is really important because, yeah, you might need it for things. If you don't have any balance, you'll just fall over. Whoa! You see what I'm using on my hands? Yeah, these are sticks. Just in case, if I need a little help. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> that was silly. I just fell. Let me try it again. Whoa! <laughs> That's tricky. Wow, look at how good she is. Wow, she is so good. Hey, maybe now we can keep balancing on the balls. Wow, look at all these balls. Yeah, this is another great way to learn how to balance. Whoa, check it out. Look at this ball. <laughs> Whoa, whee. <laughs> yeah, I'm balancing on my stomach. Whoa, <laughs> that's hard. But hey, let's count all these balls. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Do you see how this ball's in a circle? Yeah, this actually will stabilize the ball. So then when I try and stand on it, then it won't move around so much. All right, okay, let's try this. Whoa. I am so excited. Whoa, 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 it's harder than it looks. Whoa, whoa, if this stabilizer ring wasn't here, I probably wouldn't be able to do it. Whoa, okay. Let's see someone good do it. <laughs> this has been so much fun learning about all these things circus related. Whoa, check it out. Wow, looks like we have some really cool things, like rings. Whoa, yeah, they're so colorful. Hello, hey. <laughs> Ooh, looks like we have some really light scarves. Wow, <laughs> and looks like we have this wood stick. Whoa, what is that for? And a plate, yeah, a green plate. I know what to do with this. <laughs> wow. Maybe, maybe I could juggle. Wait, he's not juggling. He's balancing. Let's try it out. Whoa, do you see how he just spun it really fast? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna put it on my fingertip. Whoa, check it out. Whoa! 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 That's awesome! <laughs> All right. 
Get ready for this. I'm gonna put it on my forehead and see if I can balance it. Ready? Whoa! 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 <laughs> that was so silly. Okay, let's see what else we have over here. Yeah! Remember the scarves? What color are these scarves? Yeah, this one is the color pink. This one is the color orange. And this one is the color yellow. And you know what I like to do when I have three items. Yeah, juggle! Whoa! <laughs> Whee! This is so cool! <laughs> yeah! I love juggling. Hey, speaking of juggling, maybe I could take these rings and juggle the rings. <laughs> First, what color are these rings? Yeah, a green circle. An orange circle. A red circle. A yellow circle. And a blue circle. All right. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Let's take three of them. This is going to be a little bit trickier. Here we go. Woo! How'd I do? <laughs> Whoa. Hey. Yeah. A giant circle. Whoa! Do you know what this is? <laughs> yeah! This is a hula hoop. Whoa! Whoa, check it out! Whoa! Yeah! Woo! Woo! <laughs> oh, and watch this trick. When you spin it backwards, then it'll come back to you. Ready? Wow. Ready? Max is riding a unicycle. Whoa, that is so cool. Yeah, it kind of looks like a bicycle. Yeah, but bi means two. Yeah, two wheels and tires. But unicycle, una means one. Check it out. Whoa, all of these unicycles have one wheel and tire. Whoa! That one, this one, look at this! This frame is the color yellow! Whoa! Wow! Whoa! Look at how small this is! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> they are so hard to ride! Whoa! This one is so tall! Whoa! How do you even get up on this? <laughs> I don't even know! Whoa! <laughs> okay, maybe I should find one that fits me. How about this one? This one looks perfect. All right, let me try and ride this unicycle. Okay, do you see how I have these bars next to me? And so then I can hold on. And when I'm learning, I can learn this way and it'll help me balance. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, I definitely couldn't do this without holding on to these bars. Yeah, unicycles are actually harder to ride than bicycles in my, my opinion. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa. 
Yeah, it's probably because on a bicycle, you don't have to balance forward and backward. You just have to balance side to side. But in unicycle, whoa, whoa. You have to balance forward and backward, whoa. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try it with no hands. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> whoa, I almost fell. Let me try it again. Here I go. Whoa! Wow, look at this place. This is the fly room. Whoa, check it out. See all this? This is their trapeze setup. It is so cool. Trapeze is awesome. It's when people climb really high up in the air and then they swing while holding onto a bar. Sometimes they just fall down to the net and sometimes they grab onto other people. Hey, speaking of the net, check it out. Whoa! That looks like a really soft landing. <laughs> hey, come on! Wow! Hey, who are you? Hi, I'm Caitlin. Oh, nice to meet you, Caitlin. Hey, Caitlin does the trapeze here, and she is really good. Will you show us some trapeze? Definitely! <laughs> training with you. Did you have fun? Yeah, I did too. Whoa, uh, 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 whoa, uh. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I, -I, Flippy. Good job. Uh, uh. Whoa! <laughs> wow! This has been so much fun! Woohoo! Yeah! Come on, everyone, let's make learning fun! So much to learn about, it'll make you wanna shout! Blippi! me Blippi and look at what's behind me. Whoa, this is a snowmobile and this snowmobile belongs to my friends Magnus and Hans. <laughs> and today you and I are gonna learn about snowmobiles. Yeah! Got to ask you, what colors do you see on the snowmobile? Yeah, I see the color red, black, white, and hey, look down here. There's some silver. <laughs> hey, come back here. Whoa, look at this tree. What color is this tree? Looks like icy green and brown and what else? 
yeah! The snow is white! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> I love playing in the snow! <laughs> but it's so cold! <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! This snowmobile is so powerful! Do you know how the snowmobile gets all of its power? Yeah! The engine! Whoa! Check that out! Looks like we have... Oh! This looks like maybe the engine oil! Whoa! That's what helps cool the engine. Um, let's see. Ooh, looks like the flywheel, some gears. Oh! And look at this! This is a front shock. Yeah, this is part of the suspension of the snowmobile. Whoa! And look down here! This snowmobile has two skis. One right here, and one over there. Whoa, that is what's on the front to help steer the snowmobile. Come on up to the other side. Whoa, the other engine compartment. Whoa. Looks like we have the exhaust in there. You definitely don't want to touch that. That is really hot. Oh, and we have the intake, and we have the engine way down in there. Whoa, this engine is so compact with so much power, all in the front of the snowmobile. Come to the back, check this out. Wow. This is the track of the snowmobile. You see these big things poking up? Whoa. That helps it grip into the snow so it doesn't slip and slide. Yeah, that's kind of like the tread on a wheel and tire. But this snowmobile does not have a wheel or a tire. <laughs> oh, come check this out. All right, this is the dash of the snowmobile right here. This is where it tells you how fast you're going, your engine temperature. Oh, and look at right here. Yeah, the key. Yeah, you know what that does. When you have that in, then you turn it, and that is how you start the snowmobile. But it's not like a car where you just start it with a key. You have to pull this. Check this out. So for safety, we have the brake, and not for safety, we have the throttle. Here we go! has been so much fun riding this snowmobile. Oh geez, I sure do love the seasons, don't you? Yeah, it's so cool how you can do fun things during the spring and the summer and the fall and the winter. Yeah, let's go.
Check it out. Look at what we found. Yeah, we found a river. Whoa, this has been so much fun exploring with the snowmobiles and finding this river. Hey, do you know what animals live in this river? Yeah, probably some fish. Whoa, I definitely don't want to be a fish right now and swim in that water. That water looks so cold. <laughs> Woohoo! Check out this yellow vehicle! Whoa! Do you see something unique about it? Yeah, check this out! Just like how the snowmobile has tracks, yeah, it doesn't have wheels and tires. Yeah, the Jeep also has tracks! It doesn't have wheels and tires as well, just like the snowmobile. Snowmobiling at Leavenworth Snowmobile Tours at the Mountain Springs Lodge in Plain, Washington. Ho, ho, ho. Do you like snowmobiling? Yeah, I do too. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B L I P P I. Blippi. Good job. Bye-bye! Hey! It's me, Blippi! Wow, and look at where we're at. Whoa, what a cool store. Hey, wait a second. We're at Allegro Performing Arts Academy in Kent, Washington. Yeah, you know how I like to dance? Whoa, yeah. Wow, this place is where you can come and dance in one of their studios, and you can even maybe take a dance lesson. Woohoo! <laughs> This is gonna be so much fun. Let's go. Oh, hey. Hello. Who are you? My name is Emily. Ooh. Who are you? I'm Blippi. I'm here for the class. Awesome. Sounds like so much fun. Yeah, what should I do? So you can go ahead and go back into the studio and I'm gonna be able to teach you a dance class today. Okay. So go okay. ahead and start stretching. Okay, let's go stretch and get warmed up. Let's go. Whoa, check it out. This is a dance studio. This is where you and I are going to learn our dance from Emily. Whoa, check it out. There's some nice smooth floor. Yeah, it's really shiny. <laughs> whoa, 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 look at this. This, yeah, this looks like a mirror. Whoa, hello, hey. <laughs> yeah, dance studios have mirrors right in front of you, so then you can practice your dance moves. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Wow! <laughs> and see how you did. I definitely nailed that one. <laughs> okay, remember what Emily said? Yeah, we need to stretch and we need to warm up before she comes in to teach us our dance lesson. Okay, first things first, I need to take off my shoes. Okay, let's put them right over here. 
Now we need to stretch. Yeah, we need to stretch our muscles really far and wide so we do not injure ourselves. So first, let's stretch down. See how I'm stretching? Oh, I can almost touch my toes. <laughs> now, we need to warm up, she said. Yeah, that means we need to get our body moving in some way or another. I mean, you could jog if you want. Yeah, you could jog. You can do some squats. <laughs> wow. Or you can just do some sweet dance moves to warm up. Yeah, that's what I like to do. Hey, Blippi, do you want to learn a dance today? Oh, hey, Emily. Yeah, I love learning and I love dancing. <laughs> Sure. Awesome. Would you like to see it first? Yeah. Okay. She'll show me the dance first, and then I'll learn it. Whoa, that looks really hard. But I think I'm up for it. Will you teach me? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> All right, so how we're gonna start is we're gonna start really close to the floor. So you wanna make a ball pose. You wanna get really close into your knees, right? Okay. Yes, from here you're gonna hold four counts. So you're gonna count in your head. One, two, three, four. Then you're gonna make a big star pose, jump your legs out, reach your arms way up to the sky. And you hold this for four counts, and we're gonna count it five, six, seven, eight. Then from here, you're going to shake your hips side to side with big arms, starting to the right side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, now we're gonna learn what's called a grapevine. Yes? Ooh, okay, yes. I don't see any grapes though. <laughs> Silly goose, it's a dance move. So oh, you're gonna okay. start with your hands on your hips. You're gonna step out with the right foot. You step out to the side. You cross this next foot behind, your left foot behind. Then you step out again. Then you're gonna jump together and clap on count four. Oh. <laughs> and then you're gonna step out to the side on the left. Step out to the side. Cross that right leg behind. Step the left foot out, out. Jump, clap together. Good. Okay. Then from here, we're gonna make strong arms down at our sides. You're gonna step, touch side to side. So you step out with the right foot, out, then step together with that left foot, together. Step with the left foot out, right foot together. Step right foot out, left foot together. Good. Step left foot out, right foot together. <laughs> Now, last thing we need to learn. You're gonna step out with your feet, hands are gonna go onto your knees. You're gonna bounce two times. Ready, you bounce. One, two, then you do two claps. Clap, clap. But it has to be at the same tempo as the music. Okay. <laughs> yes. So you bounce. One, two, clap. Now make sure your feet are nice and wide apart because we want to be confident when we dance, right? Okay, yeah, confidence. Absolutely. So we always want to make sure we have nice wide feet. Close feet, not so much. You want nice wide feet. So you do okay. want to try every single move nice and slow all together. Okay. All right. Now remember, we have to count in our head to eight. Okay. Was that it? That was it. Wow. That was it. I just learned that full dance and I think I'm ready. Am I ready? I think we're ready. Okay, awesome. let's hit that music. One, two, three, four, six. Shake your hips. Great, fine. Step touch. Bounce it. Good job and good job to you. Thank you so much, Flippy. Yeah, well, thank you for teaching me 
and them how to dance. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, check this out. Emily's doing another dance. Come on. Whoa! This style of dancing is called jazz! It looks like so much fun! <laughs> you know jazz? Yeah! It's a type of music! <laughs> Check it out! Oh, do you see what Emily's doing now? Yeah, she's doing ballet. <laughs> and she's actually using the ballet bar. Check it out. That is so cool, and this type of dancing is so elegant. Wow. Whoa! I have been having so much fun dancing today. Woo! <laughs> what? 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 Ah! <laughs> Do you like dancing? <laughs> yeah, I like dancing because it's a great way to. Get out your energy and exercise. Yeah, I love being healthy. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't I teach you a dance so then you and I can dance together? Would that be fun? Yeah. Okay, the first thing about dancing is what's called rhythm. Yeah, every song has rhythm. It's basically the beat. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna clap my hands and then you clap your hands with me at the same time, okay? Ready? Good job! Yeah! You feel this? Yeah! This is rhythm! <laughs> yeah! We did it! Good job! Okay, so now I'm gonna do that again, but now we're gonna want to move our legs to the rhythm, okay? Ready? Here we go. Here we go. We got it. Double time. Good job. Okay, now that we understand rhythm and beats, now we can learn the parts of the dance, okay? First thing, yeah, you see this up there? Yeah, what machine is that? Yeah, that is a bulldozer. So we're gonna dance as if we're bulldozers. First, you need to put your hands up like it's the blade of the bulldozer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, then you need to move your legs and dance like a bulldozer. Yeah, there we go. We're totally like bulldozers. <laughs> I love bulldozers. Whoa. <laughs> okay, all right, so that's gonna be the first dance move. And then the second dance move, yeah, we're gonna act like kangaroos. Yeah, do you know what a kangaroo is? Yeah, whoa, such cool animals. <laughs> okay, the cool thing about kangaroos is how high they can jump. All right, put your hands like this, and then jump really high. Whoa! <laughs> yeah! 
Okay, I bet you can do that one really good at home. <laughs> okay, now the third dance move we're gonna do is, yeah, that's a dinosaur, isn't it? What kind of dinosaur is that? Yeah, a T-Rex, good job. Okay, so the funny thing about T-Rexes are they have short little hands, <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> but they're actually really fierce, so you have to act fierce. <laughs> okay, but now we need to put that all into rhythm and a beat. Yeah, and then you act like a T-Rex. <laughs> okay, those are the three dance moves. But now, remember, we need a rhythm and a beat. So, hit it, DJ. Remember the first one? Yep. Bulldozer dance. Good job. <laughs> Plow the dirt. Wow. That was really good. I'm really proud of you. That was such a good bulldozer dance. <laughs> okay. So now we're gonna go into the second dance move. Remember it? It was an animal. And it jumps really high. Yeah, a kangaroo. Ready? <laughs> wow. Wow, kangaroos are so cool. They can jump so high. Woo! All right, shake it off. Okay, now for the third dance move, the T-Rex. Ready? Rah! 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 Ah. Oh, oh, I am so tired. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, that was so much fun doing all those sweet dances today at Allegro Performing Arts Academy in Kent, Washington. Wow. <laughs> I sure do love to dance. Hey, if you're around this area, you can come and do the very same creative movement class that I did today. Wow, that was so much fun. Or, yeah, I'm sure you have a local performing art studio where you can learn to dance. Yeah, there's a lot of cool dances you can do, like jazz and tap and ballet. Whoa, even acro. <laughs> that sounds like so much fun. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Come on everyone, let's make learning fun So much to learn about, it'll make you wanna shout Blippi!